everyone, this is Squash of the South. Just coming to you for my first uh, vlog, I guess, from the bike. I was going to have an even longer one, but it turns out that mounting your GoPro behind your left leg with a uh, mount not long enough doesn't really do anything besides let people see what, uh, what kind of socks you're wearing, what kind of jeans you're wearing. But yeah, I was taking a pretty easy day on my NC700 here. Uh, weather was beautiful. It's a little hot. I think it was like 95, 98, somewhere around there. Kept fluctuating, but precipitation for the, the day was like 15% for the whole day, possibly. So I was like, well, if there's going to be a day that I go out and I do a little bit of riding, it was going to be this day. Uh, everything went pretty smooth. I mean, I think from 11 to 2.30, I was riding. Um, and I mean, that wasn't just in town. The only reason I chose this clip was that uh, I had a little bit of an altercation. Uh, just uh, just driving around, I noticed that uh, a little bit through there, through that sign, I was, uh, I was like, well, I'm getting kind of low on gas. And I guess I'll head to Walmart. And because I, I think I, j I went back down to the library. That's where I'm coming from now. Um, but yeah, I was like, well, I guess I'll go get some gas. Uh, so, we'll fast forward a little bit to that part. So it's here I start to notice that there's a car behind me, like it, it's and it's coming up a little fast. I mean the speed limit in town's like 35, and there's this big meaty. You see that those yellow lines next to me? It's a big turn lane. Well, I see he's like hitting it. It's like he's gonna just turn in. And I was like, they, so the gas station's over here at the Walmart. So I put on my signal, move over. You know, I'm, I, I went a little bit early because I, I didn't really trust the guy. I mean, the guy looked like he was hitting the line, and he was coming up on me pretty quick. I mean, everyone in the town usually goes, you know, about 35, 40. I think I was going about 40 on the road. And so this, he, he's breaking the limits a little bit, and I, I could see the dude. I was looking back at him, light change right after I pulled up here. So I'm coming through here, and there's you can't go down this left side. Like, you have to go right. So I put on my right turn signal, I'm watching the car, there's no truck over there in front of the car, and I'm about to pull into the gas station, but I see the car behind me. I mean, like, the car was probably only like a foot or so away from me, and I was like, I was getting fucking pissed. I was like, what the fuck is this dude's problem? I could tell he's in a rush. I was like, why the fuck are you in a rush to get to Walmart? So I was like, well, I'll go fucking talk to dude. So I come over here, go all the way around, stop for a second, make sure there's no traffic, and then... I go down here, it's this white car, which you see down this lane. Here he goes, he pulls in. I wish the GoPro would have caught some of the audio, but I don't keep it on my helmet. I keep it on the bike for right now. I really just don't want that weight on there. So I stop here, he gets out of the car, and I'm like, yo, like, sir, like, can you can you slow down and use your turn signals? That was the other thing, too. Like, he wasn't using his turn signals. He was just going wherever the fuck. He never really didn't give a fuck. Well, this guy gets out of his car, and he, like, crosses his arms, and he's like, well, what do you want to do about it? But it was, like, 
just kind of off through me. The dude was probably like 60 or so. And I was like, what do I want to do about it? Like, are you talking about share insurance or something? Like, no. I was just like, sir, if you could just please slow down and be careful. I mean, I'm out here on my bike just trying to enjoy the day. Like, he's like, well, what do you want to do about it? So he just, he literally just keeps saying the same thing as I'm like, well, just be careful. Like, I'm out here on my bike, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just sitting here talking to the dude. Like, dude's just not, he's, he's being a fucking asshole about it. He's just like, because all he's saying is he's like, well, I had to get in here. I had to get in here. He's like, you should have sped up. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm going the speed limit. Yeah, that's where I was like, I'm going speed limit. Went up a little bit, and then I stopped. Just talking a little bit more. But I was just like, you know what? Never mind, dude. Like, you're just ruining. Beautiful day. Just out here riding. Um, but it was just ridiculous. Like, uh, and the other thing was, too, was like, I hadn't gone out driving or doing anything. Because I also have a car truck. I have two trucks and another car that I drive around. I actually almost got hit uh, going to the very same town the day before. Not in town, but at a different town right before it. And I mean, it was like I was going home. That's what it was. I was going home from the town. And someone had decided that they wanted to make a turn. So everyone, of course, you know, slows down, stops. Well, I look in my rear view and I see a BMW. Like sliding sideways, coming at me like brakes, you know, tire just screeching. So that's the thing. It's like that's the kind of shit thing about living down here. It's like there's some great roads, and there's some great people, but there's also there's a lot of people who are just kind of settled in their ways, and it's it's kind of fucking annoying because turn signals usually aren't a thing, which is kind of fucking annoying. Uh, people just kind of driving however the fuck they want to. It was kind of funny because actually, uh, after I got my gas here, uh, I sat here, I went and got a, a water bottle because I was just, she pulled in right before me and I really wasn't in a rush. It was a day to just ride, enjoy it, but I went and got a water bottle, just turned off the bike, let it sit there. Uh, but after this, after I left town, I was actually just kind of, you know, weaving a little bit on the road, you know, just kind of, you know, moving around on the bike. And some dude freaked out in the, uh, the opposing lane. I guess he thought I was crashing or something. And he just, he freaked the fuck out. He, like, jerked the shit out of his wheel, like, almost wrecked. I was like, fuck. Because I was on the, I was on the phone with a buddy of mine. Because uh, right after this, they called me and they were like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just out riding, just doing whatever. Um... But yeah, I just really hot day, really thirsty. That's the only thing I would have changed about the day. I would have made sure that I had more hydration. But I'm gonna solve that soon because I'm gonna be getting me a, a bottle to mount, uh, a little bottle holder to mount to the bike, and also get something to charge my phone and also hold it while I'm on the bike, so that I can just sit there and I can I can look at the phone, uh, do some GPS if I need to. Because I've gone out. I mean, today I think. I went in a big roundabout in a way because all the towns kind of interconnect and the ways that I take. And I didn't want to go too far north or too far south. I was just hitting the back roads. I was hitting, you know, getting the, the curves down, just, just getting the bike, you know, leaning in a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, just enjoying the ride more than anything. Not trying to go fast, not trying to get anywhere in particular, but just enjoy the day, which was kind of shit that I had this one dude that, he kind of had to fucking ruin it for me. And then kind of be a, a dick bag about it, but I don't know. Because I'm not, I'm not a crazy fucking biker. My bike's not meant to go fast. Uh, I don't do crazy shit. Obviously can't pop wheelies on the motherfucker. But, you know, so I just, I just drive responsibly. And I, that's all I want is for other people around me to do the same thing, which is kind of a, you know, it's kind of hard to fucking get people to do, but it just sucks sometimes, especially whenever you're on the bike. I mean, look at this town. It's a small little town, you know. Might take you 50 minutes to go in and out of it. You know, there's no reason to be speeding, riding on people's ass, especially go to fucking Walmart. What's in Walmart? And, you know, it's it's just ridiculous sometimes. But, yeah, I just filled up here, got some water, and then went and rode around a little. Uh, I, think this was, I think this was around 1. So I think I rode for another hour, just went around, uh... 
Got a power rate in the other place. That'd be that, that might be one thing that I might do. I might mount a cooler or something to the bike. Back of the bike. Next time I go out for a ride, maybe get something that's kinda like one of those little yetis. Cause I got some rock straps, uh, finally, because I know I'm going to be starting college here soon uh, in the fall and I really didn't want to have to put up with having to wear the bag all the time and then also it was kind of nice knowing that hey if I really wanted to go out and maybe camp or do something with the bike I could go and just you know strap it down to the bike have a good time and it's kind of nice getting that you know actually getting it kind of set up for the adventure style um, I still don't have my adventure tires put on the bike I, I kept the ones that the guy put on there because honestly um, they're free tires for one and then for two uh, I really don't think there is a for two other than they're free tires it's like I'm not gonna sit there and get rid of something that's brand new that's gonna work just fine for what I need for right now you know as I'm just learning I mean I got the bike with like 5,000 now I'm already at 7,200 or something like that so I've put some miles on the bike it's been real fun I mean I love the bike the only thing I might ever get rid of it for would maybe be an Africa twin but I mean right now I'm just gonna enjoy the bike and I'm gonna just probably go another few years before I even get rid of it but Hopefully by then I'm getting a little bit better with my setup. I'll have my phone stuff set up. I'll probably have a, a little bit better GoPro angle for everyone to see stuff. And maybe I might mount it to the helmet, but that's just so heavy. Because I already wear uh, the Scorpion EXO 18950. And that's not a light helmet. Uh, but I really like it because I wear glasses. And it's really comfortable for me. Uh, but yeah, it's... You know, it was a good day. I think, yeah, I moved out of here because somebody was at the gas pump, so I just moved the bike up, uh, out of their way. So I get some gas, drank the rest of my water. Um, but, I mean, look at that sky. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. But, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get this GoPro set up a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, done up right. I might get that, that voice pack thing because I am running a, a Cena. Might use that with the GoPro, make it sound a little bit better, a little bit more professional, you know, while I'm out there on the bike enjoying it. But it's not bad to come back here and add, it, add to the videos. All right, everybody. Later.